somebody blocked you. That's the first thing I'm getting here. Or if they didn't block you already, it looks like you kind of are feeling like they're about to block you. You know, sometimes when somebody blocks you, you kind of can pick it up by the way that they're acting. This person probably been acting funny with you. They've been giving you the silent treatment. You know, the communication been way less than what it's normally, you know, been. Um, and it's like, I feel like you at this point, you like, damn, I don't know what to do, right? Maybe you're thinking about maybe you should block them. Maybe you've been contemplating blocking them as well. So this could be the other way around. Maybe they're not thinking about blocking you. You're the one that's thinking about blocking them, like I said. Um, I feel like you're just in this space of like, should I move on? You know, I don't really have nothing to say. They don't have nothing to say to me. Um, maybe they calling you, but she's like, there's not much to say, right? You, you're like in this weird space. That's what I'm getting here. Or maybe when you contact them, they don't have much to say to you. The world. I feel like you guys are repeating a cycle with this person. So this is not the first time this has happened or you just find yourself in this cycle with other people as well where everything is good and then out of nowhere, it's like, damn, just things just go bad and you just don't know what to do, right? And I feel like you want to end this cycle. You want to break this. You don't want to keep going through feeling like a person doesn't value you, right? The star is like, you're trying to heal, you know? I feel like you've been through a lot. I feel like you are hopeful that things will get better between you and this person, right? It's not like you've lost all hope. Um, but you're just tired. You know, you're tired of going through a healing journey. You're tired of having to heal from every single person that you date. You know, you're in this energy of like, can I actually date somebody that I don't have to heal from? Right? That's that's annoying. Justice. Justice is saying that you're you're learning a karmic lesson here. Now, karmic lessons are basically situations and events that you're not learning from. So when you don't learn from them, unfortunately, you repeat them. And you got to remember that everything we do comes with a consequence. Every action we take, there's a consequence. Everything we say, there's a consequence. So that's why you keep repeating this and it's turning into a karmic cycle. You want to break that cycle, right? How do you break that cycle? You break that cycle by doing something different. Five of Cups, this person is always disappointing you, but in reality, a lot of the people that you date are always disappointing you, right? You have a lot of, you know, regret. I think you're disappointed in yourself. I think you're disappointed that you ignore certain signs with this person. You know, maybe this person came off very pessimistic. Maybe this person has depression. Um, you could tell that this person had a lot of things that they needed to work on, but you know, you, you overlooked it, right? You maybe saw a little bit of yourself in them. So you had a little bit of compassion and understanding. You could relate to them as far as their sadness and the depression that they go through. But ultimately, everything went left. And the reason why it went left is because the foundation between you two is not strong. So if you're depressed and then you're dating somebody else that's depressed and you're trying to work on yourself, but you could visibly see that that person ain't trying to work on themselves, they're not trying to better themselves, you're not creating a strong foundation and eventually it's gonna break down and it's gonna be chaos, it's gonna be turmoil. So it seems like things pretty much went left between you two. It could have been like a really bad fight. Um, maybe y'all didn't fight recently. This could be maybe a fight that happened before and you think that, you know, you're over it and you think that this person's over it and it looks like they're not. It looks like they're still holding on to it. Five of Wands fighting, yeah. I feel like you guys had like a really bad argument. Maybe it was recent and, you know, Ever since that argument, things just haven't been the same. Maybe it got a little bit better, 
but it's never been exactly the same, right? And I feel like it's because this person was, is still holding on to it. I feel like deep down inside, they were contemplating like what to do. They were in conflict when it comes to you, but I feel like this person is not a straightforward person. They don't know how to keep it real and just say, hey, you know, I never really got over that misunderstanding we had. I'm still holding on to it. And with the King of Swords, you're dealing with somebody who is very emotionally detached. This person is somebody who's an overthinker. They're very analytical. Um, this person already doesn't know how to express their feelings. They're already very emotionally detached and so just a bad recipe. So this is like a person that will sit there and just soak and, and sit in their thoughts, negative thoughts about the fight y'all had, you know, instead of just trying to be more compassionate and trying to be more understanding with you of like, you know, well, maybe this person did what they did because, you know, I upset them or my part in it. It's like, I, I do think this person is a logical person. So I do think that they think logically, yes. But I just think that they don't try to see things from a more compassionate place. Like, so I think when y'all had maybe whatever misunderstanding, maybe the way you lashed out at them, they don't like it. Um, and, and it's just making them just kind of overthink things between you two. Um, this person is judgmental, you know? Hierophant is like, it's weird because this person has certain beliefs and standards when it comes to the type of person that they want to be with. And I almost feel like they hold you at this like high regard of like not making mistakes. It's like you're not allowed to make mistakes. It's like you have to be perfect. They can make all the mistakes in the world. You do one little thing and it's like the end of the world. That's what I'm getting here. Um, it, it sounds crazy, but like I said, they put you on a pedestal. They expect more of you than they expect of themselves. So, you know, if you're a woman, they may have these beliefs like, oh, women shouldn't yell, women shouldn't curse, women shouldn't act belligerent, they shouldn't act like this, they shouldn't act like that. But them, they can yell, they can get loud, they can get nasty, you know, they could be belligerent, they could be upset, you know, but you have to just sit there and just be a lady. Or if you're, you know, if you're a man, this is like them saying, you know, a, a man should act like this, a man should act like that, but they themselves don't even act like that. Or they may feel like the person that they're with should be this really uh, perfect person, you know? Kind of like how people would feel like a president should act, like a president shouldn't curse and they shouldn't do certain things and it's just, it's unrealistic, right? Because we're all human not a pinnacle so it's like now this person's feeling like okay i want to do my own thing i don't really want to give to this connection anymore but instead of just being real with you and telling you they just being distant yeah five of swords is like they're still holding on to this um they walked away from that argument or misunderstanding feeling defeated um but i feel like you walked away feeling defeated too it could be that whatever disagreements y'all had that in their eyes, they feel like you won the disagreement in the sense that maybe your argument was more stronger. You know, you, you completely lost, you lost it. Like, I can't, I can't have, like, it's, it's almost like, I feel like you, you spazzed out and I feel like you've been bottling it, like bottling it up for such a long time that you just couldn't take it anymore, you know? And they walked away feeling defeated, like you had the upper hand on them because they are used to, I guess, quote unquote, winning fights or whatever, or feeling like they have the upper hand and they feel like you walked away the winner, but they don't realize that, no, you're not a winner either. You feel like you lost too because you don't even want to be fighting with nobody. You just, you just want to be loved. You just want to love. That's it, you know? Um, Queen of Wands, yeah, it's like... You're fiery too. So it's like, I feel like you're a nice person. You know, you're, you're loving, but you're also very passionate. So it's like, don't push me. Don't push me. Cause if you push me, I'll, I'll wall out and you won't like that side of me. And they saw a side of you that they're not 
properly used to, right? You're passionate about what you believe in, and they were trying to get you to see things differently. And it's like, I don't see things the way you see it. I, I think that what you're saying is wrong. The Ace of Swords, you spoke your truth. They just put hands of the truth. It was too much. Deuces, fed up, cutting ties, walking away. It's like, yeah, they... It's weird because they feel fed up, but I feel I feel what I'm feeling intuitively is like you is the one that should be feeling fed up, not them. Making it rain, manifesting abundance, legal matters in your favor, unexpected money, promotion, entrepreneur. Um, on a, on a good side though, money's gonna be looking good for you. That's a plus. Um, I almost feel like by you saying induces to this person, your money is gonna come in. I feel like this person's a distraction. That's what it feels like to me. They're just like a big ball of distraction. Taking you away from the things that you're trying to achieve. Clingy, old exes, dead relationships, old ways. They could also have like an old ex that just won't go away. Maybe that's what caused the disagreement between you two. Or there's an old ex that... Um, they run back to whenever y'all have disagreements. That's what I'm getting here. Um, and, and it's like, you're just tired of it. You know, you feel like this relationship is just a dead end. It ain't, it ain't going anywhere, right? The lake. Spirit saying you need to go by water. What is gonna give you a lot of peace? Maybe to go to the beach. You might live near a lake. Maybe you need to go there and just like, just look at the water, you know? To really like make the final decision that you need to make here. Shopping mall. You may need to go shopping. You might need to treat yourself. When's the last time you went on a shopping spree? When's the last time you have treated yourself, right? When's the last time you have been, you know, um, Good to yourself and taking yourself out all right so let's let's ask spirit what important messages you need to also hear today about the situation four swords you know spirit is saying that you need to take a, a step back from this person once again the four swords does represent a break so although this may feel final, like it might feel like it's the end and y'all are done with each other, it looks like Spirit is really saying that this is not done. This is just a break, right? And you may need this time to just be by yourself and you need to rest. And I feel like this person is affecting your sleep. Like, I feel like you might have been dealing with some insomnia. I don't know why, but Spirit is saying like you've been getting less than six hours of sleep. You need to rest because this just been on your mind. It's been stressing you out. Um, the Ten of Swords, this person has betrayed you. They've backstabbed you. It's time, honestly, for you to sever ties with them. But although it is time for you to sever ties with them, it still doesn't feel like the ending to me. It feels like this is a break. I feel like you're not ready to sever ties with this person permanently. Um, this feels like y'all will take a break and reconnect again. But eventually, I feel like you will ultimately decide to sever ties with them. I just feel like it's just a matter of time. It's all about divine timing. Everything happens in divine order. Um, there's going to be some major changes, some major shifts, I think, in just how you see things and your perspective on things. I feel like you're going to also meet somebody new um, who you're going to actually see that there's potential between you and that person that you can actually possibly you know, have something long term in the future with this new person coming in. Um, obviously, though, with the new person that I see coming forward, um, it's not going to be right away. You know, you guys are just going to be getting to know each other. But I feel like this new person is coming towards you because Spirit wants you to see, hey, you know, you have other options. There's other people that are interested in you, right? So, you know, be patient with yourself, you know um take your time you know you might you might be holding on to this other person because you want to get married you want long-term security 
you know, you want that happily ever after. And Spirit is saying you will have that happily ever after. You will have everything that you want, but you have to be patient. You don't want to rush this. You don't want to make a bad decision. You don't want to regret your decisions at the end of the day. Yes, yeah, Seven of Pentacles. It's like whatever you want in life, especially something that's worth having, it takes time to get it. Nothing happens one, two, three like that. Anything that's of value, it takes time to build it. You know, think of a tree. A tree does not grow overnight. It takes time to build. You know, a building doesn't grow overnight. It takes time to build. Can you imagine trying to build a building in one day? That building would break down because you're rushing. You're not building a solid foundation, right? So sometimes we want to rush and... and we may hold on to somebody because we feel like we're on a certain uh, time clock. Like, oh, I'm of this age and I want to get married and I don't want to keep hopping from person to person. So that's why I'm trying to make it work with this person. And Spirit is saying, listen, be patient. Everything happens in divine timing. This person is not the one for you, but there's somebody better. There's somebody coming in that's much better. That's literally wanting the same things that you want you know everything takes time you're not on a time clock you know um the time is not ticking like you think it is like just give yourself grace that's what i'm getting here from spirit you feel confused you feel stuck but you're not stuck you may feel like in your mind how how am i gonna let go of this person how am i gonna get over them I love them so much. I, I feel stuck. I feel trapped. You're not stuck. You're not trapped. You're you're in your head. You know, every time we feel stuck and we feel trapped, it's because of our mind. Everything starts with the mind. You know, every single thing starts with the mind. Like the person that created this deck, this was once in their mind, right? Imagine if they felt stuck and, and they stayed stuck, right? They wouldn't have created this deck, right? But they were like, okay, I'm going to create this deck and I'm going to get out of my mind. Everything that you want starts with the mind. Just always remember that. Um, Ace of Cups, you know, yes, it's going to, you're going to experience an overflow of emotions during this time. Emotions of feeling sad, happy, in love with the, this person that you're, having obstacles with but ace of cups is saying new love is coming in for you a new beginning it feels like when you go on this break from this person out of nowhere you'll meet somebody that's what it feels like to me and it's new love and this person will catch your eye and you will fall for them and and it does feel like you'll be scared and you'll be very confused like wow i didn't expect this you know but everything is divine timing always remember that um be optimistic you know maybe you have lost a little bit of that because of what you've been going through you know page of swords you may feel like you don't trust this new person which there's nothing wrong with that there might be a part of you that may feel like you want to find out more information on them. So you might be watching their social media more closely when you meet this person, going through their old photo, um, old photos or going through their old posts or um, even Googling them to see like what comes up to make sure like this person is who they say they are. And Spirit is encouraging you to do that. Spirit is encouraging you to always do your research on whoever it is that you're talking to because, hey, you know, you don't want to get involved with someone who is pretending to be something that they're truly not. So they're encouraging you to, to do that if that makes you feel more comfortable. With the nine of wands, yes, you have been going through a tough battle and you feel tired and you feel fatigued and maybe there's a part of you that's like, I don't even know if I'm ready to be with somebody else. And like I said, Spirit is saying, honor that. You don't have to rush into anything. You could just get to know them. You could just be their friend. It doesn't seem like this person is trying to rush you either. It seems like this person wants to be your friend as well. They just want to get to know you. So it's like, take your time. You've been through a lot. You know, like I said, you don't have to feel like you have to rush into anything. You're not on this time clock like you may think that you're on. You know, it's time for you to grow. It's time for you to expand. Um, you may need to travel as well. Remember, Spirit was saying you need to rest. I feel like this is Spirit saying, like, you need to go on some type of trip. You need to get away. 
you know, you might be planning a trip. So they're saying like, that's a good thing for you. You may need to plan some type of vacation. Um, if, if you're like, well, I ain't got the money to do that. Maybe you need to get in the car and just drive to the next state, you know, just get away. All right. So hopefully uh, this reading resonated with you and I'm going to see you in the next one.